Hey now, this is a certified hood classic. Look at the man! Who's hung over? Not me, Tiny Piggy High. Welcome. Oh, the weekend hangover is a mongus creed. It's Monday. These fine folks had a terrible weekend. They won't be getting to see the uh, <laughs> clips that I just found out was happening today. Today. <laughs> I was saying you didn't know about all the uh, the traffic issues in parts of America, mm -hmm. and uh, you know the three thousand dollar train rides, the one hundred dollar parking in uh, fields. Uh, just can know, I charge you know, people to park in my yard? I mean, is it work I, that way too? I, I don't, I, I mean, I, you know, there's, there's all of these warnings like, uh, listen at the end, you know, when it's really happening, don't be stopping on the side of the road on the highways and the byways, you know? <laughs> I mean, I remember when there was like a really good eclipse when I was in like elementary school and they're like, this won't happen again until such and such time. And I was like, <laughs> wow, I'll be an old man then. Well, I wonder if this is the one I was thinking about when I was a kid. It probably is. I would uh, old man Mikey. Old man Mikey. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, oh, oh Bill. Bill uh, making great decisions, and hopefully everybody else will today, too. I guess, uh, I, speaking of uh, decisions, you know, if you have your uh, eclipse glasses, I guess there's a bunch of them that have been recalled. Uh, I've also seen on uh, some very high prices, like 40 to $50 a pair uh on uh facebook marketplace i guess there's a uh hear me out no? what if you just take your phone you turn your back to the eclipse and you shoot it on your phone and just look at it on your phone is that okay i mean you're gonna die if you look at it with your eyes well no it'll probably, it's gonna mess up your eyes Ooh. I saw the fake shit about uh, uh, certain times when you don't want to be holding electronic devices and that. People fall for anything, man. Just anything. Have you seen that on, on Facebook? Uh, lots of people were sharing that one today. Oh, this is a huge missed opportunity for me to make up uh, conspiracies and shit. Okay, good to see you. <laughs> you ain't kidding. Hopefully everybody had a great WrestleMania weekend. Um. Speaking of the weekend, I got a couple of uh, photos to share for you. I was thinking about you over the weekend, Mikey. Oh, actually, yesterday uh, when I was at the flea market, I, I was witnessing some uh, pro ladling there, and, oh. and I, I I could have went on and on and on. There's about six different oh, times. Oh my! Lots of ladling. This was uh, Dad's. We went to that, uh, you know, the the place that the smoke pit that, that our. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, did the did the uh, our wedding? My mother went. Uh, all in on the, the the get two she got the uh i'm the only one that didn't get didn't get turkey that's the uh it's more kielbasa than sausage the jalapeno cheese uh so, huh. oh and one last uh, you like kielbasa over smoked sausage well it's supposed to be smoked sausage but it just tastes like kielbasa to me okay Here, i thought you'd be i thought you'd think this is fun. i just saw this today uh, I thought it was funny because of, you know it's Lenny's old ass you know, banging banging at DeLorean and that's how we got the cyber truck. Uh, that's great. I mean, uh, go with that. we all need to pick up one of those today, <laughs> right? For the clips. <laughs> Anyways, all right, we're not here to share stories about our great weekend or talk eclipse. We're talking court because it's we got a case. And happy Monday, everybody. Detroit, Rock City. Let's go. This is Mr. Guys. Jay. That's right. Okay, Jay. who's going to do swear to? Oh, it's already been sworn to? Yeah, it has. Okay, well, okay, who's here for arraignment? Hey. Ready, Your Honor. All right, calling case number 8223709 oh, I didn't even notice uh, Leslie's name down there. Uh, a. Cock. Hey, hey, 401, Houston, the Michigan versus Edmund Geis, charged with count one, breaking and entering a building with intent, habitual fourth offense notice. State your name for the record, sir. Edmund Geis. All right, Ms. Kirkland, your appearance. Good morning, Your Honor. Kashava Kirkland, on behalf of Mr. Geis, who has been advised of his rights, wishes to stand mute and waive the formal reading. Court order not guilty plea on behalf of your client. Argument. 
Judge, we are requesting a personal bond in this case. This is something that's alleged to have occurred over a year ago, January 4th of 2023. Warrant was not signed until a year later, January 17th of this year. Um, he is a lifelong resident, has two children, has a stable housing with family here, um, and has no assaultive criminal record. I do not believe he is a danger to the community. Um, and nothing, even though he does have a criminal record, um, nothing in his record shows that he is a risk of flight to the community. It's, um, it sounds like he has always completed uh, what the record was required by the court. So we are asking for personal bond in this case. Uh, I think it doesn't appear history of assault, but it's got uh -oh. larcenies and breaking and enterings and um, things of along as they have a larce larceny intent. Yeah. A year for the warrant to come out for this guy. I, I like the larceny uh, intent. Listen, I've thought about stealing a lot in my lifetime. <laughs> I've things that, well, I mean, it's tax season. People are doing it nonstop. Um, <laughs> intent to larceny. Yes. In this case, what was he uh, alleged to have done? What type of building this was? Yes, sir. It was a yeah, NASCAR. Uh, kind of like WrestleMania. All that the Hendrick uh, would <laughs> the Hendrick 400 yesterday. <laughs> uh, it was an optical, uh, like an eyeglass. Uh, SP Pro Vision. Yeah, uh, I believe. No, 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 no. That was in Royal Oak. What was Correct. In, uh, in Wayne? Yeah, that was how we established the pattern in the case. It was an SVS here in Wayne. What are your recommendations as the bond, sir? It only breaks into eyeglass. I, I, I asked for uh, 25,000, 10%. And that was uh, just based on the fact that he's facing pretty serious charges. He's, this is a habitual fourth offense that carries life, uh, which would be reason in itself to plead. Judge, may I respond? Sure. Thank you. Um, yeah. It sounds like he does have, you know, an elaborate criminal record, and it sounds like he's always looking at his record. He's always faced pretty serious charges, and he is not. Um, Grant, we have no reason to believe. I don't believe that just the fact that he's facing life is enough reason to believe that he will will run. He's shown us time and time again that he does not run. Um, so I am going to ask for a personal bond, a ten percent bond. Uh, he would not be able to afford a ten percent bond in this case. He does fall within the guidelines. Um, and he, he would not be able to make that. Well, given his criminal history, and I understand your point, this this is over a year ago. Uh, I'm going to uh, agree with the officer, $25,000, 10% bond in this matter. Probable cause, April 15th, preliminary examination, April 22nd, 29th District Court in Wayne. Any questions regarding your... Uh, Bond and or court date, sir. Judge. Yes. Um. Would you, would your honor consider a tether instead of a of, instead of a um a cash bond? I believe that the tether would would accomplish the same um goal here. Uh, he he would not be able to make that money bond though. No. Uh, -oh. uh. Is he employed? He is not, your honor. He's a professional been professional cat burglar. Past Fourteen months, so he has been in custody. He's been. I'm sorry. Repeat that, Miss Kirkland. He's He's been un under sentence in another case for the past 14 months. He has completed his sentence, but he's been in custody for a year, so he hasn't been able to work. So no, no objection to a house arrest. Thank you. Okay, no objection to house arrest. Thank you, Honor. Gary! Chris, thank you. One of the main channels. No? GPS tether. We had fun on Saturday with uh, all members only. It was fun. All right, anything else? What was the number, the, the amount? On oh, the bond amount? Yes. I'll give you $25,000 on a personal. Thank you. Wow. Rest. Went from 10% right. to personal. Court probable cause April 15th, preliminary examination April 22nd. Any questions, sir? No, sir. Thank you, Judge. I'm going to thank Ms. Kirkland. You better thank her. You better thank Where, her. Where'd she come yes, from? Sir. Costco? You hire her from Costco? Thank you, man. you better thank her. I appreciate you very much. Okay. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Junior? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Oh, God. Barrett, state your name right? for the record, please. 
Ramon Berrios. Hello, Hello sir. Right. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. This is case number 8224. Oh, my God. People should miss me versus Ramon Berrios. Oh. Ms. Kirkland, your appearance, please. Good morning, Your Honor. Kershava Kirkland, on behalf of Mr. Berrios, who has been advised of his rights, which is to stand mute and wave the formal reading. He's not going to run, right? He's not going to run out of here. Well, he might hop his way out the damn door. I mean, I'm how does how does somebody with allegedly one leg get so freaked out from Dylan's iPhone watching Dylan's iPhone and seeing of somebody with one leg? <laughs> he surprised me. I like when other people with one leg say, "Hey, <laughs> heads up, one leg." All right, the court now guilty on behalf of your client. Argument is the bond. Judge, I am going to request a personal bond in this case. I would not object to a GPS tether. Um, I understand it's assaultive. Um, so Mr. Mr. Berrios does have a criminal record, and um, the criminal record is, is pretty serious, as I'm sure you've already seen. However, I did want to point oh, out. Oh, yes, I've seen, yes. yes. Oh, However, I did He's want to a flight risk? He's not had any convictions, to my understanding, since 1985. I know he only did 10 years on, on that. Um, he's been released since 95. Um, has not has not had any um, convictions since then, which I think is, is significant. Um, and more telling of who he is today. George um, Carlin looks terrible. He is a lifelong resident of Michigan. He has nine children. Um, nine? He is currently Good on disability. Um, not objecting to, to See, he's, he's been using that third leg, you guys. <laughs> that thing has not slowed him down. All right, so he has, he has a huge record, but it's all before 1985. So that's why he was a flight risk then? I guess, or he's still a flight risk, she said. I Did 10 years, got out. And he's been clean since then, uncaught, <laughs> slipping in and out. Personal bond, Your Honor. He does only have um he, he only has one foot at this time. He, he's on disability and at this time. Is he gonna grow another one? At this time, he's waiting for a new one. The other one left. One of his foot have been decapitated. At this point, there's decapitated to make um and so so we, we are asking for a personal bond in this case. I did not get an opportunity to listen Nine. to the swear to because I so I don't know what the allegations are in this case. I do know that the complainant is his, his um his stepdaughter and that she's 46 years old and does not live in his home. So I don't think there's an issue uh between um his his difficulty with being mobile um as well as them not living now in one leg's ready to go. I don't think that he is a risk of harm to her. Um, wearing it out, man. You know, his <laughs> like criminal record here. at least my lifetime um shows that he's he he Cannot be a, a, at, least a, at least in my lifetime. That yes. was cute. <laughs> <laughs> that he is not a, a risk of harm um, to the community, and any harm that the, the court may be, uh, you know, concerned that he is can be cured with the GPS tether. Um, he's also not a risk of flight. Okay, I, I like that, Ms. Trump, at least within your lifetime. But it's his lifetime I'm concerned about, not yours. But that's cute. I give you Judge, I'm, I'm almost 30, so I think that's really important to, to yeah. point out. In 30 years, you know, nothing. Okay. In your lifetime. Yes. In your lifetime, he hasn't done anything. Within the past 30 years, maybe that sounds better. No, I, I like it both ways. Okay. Oh, he's bisexual. All right, All Judge. Right. I love this judge. He likes it both ways. You have any thoughts yeah. on the uh, Yes, Your Honor. Uh, we would. Uh, request a GPS tether and no contact with the victim. Okay. All right. Fifty thousand on a personal bond. No contact with Betsaida Jimenez. Let's see. Let's see Jimenez. A Jimenez. House arrest. Hey, guy in the bottom, you can take off. Nobody's there. Go, run. There you go. I mean, he's chained. He's chained to the wall. Oh, oh, pipe. Right. He's chained to the pipe. He's going to get away. In court dates. That's for handicapped prisoners. <laughs> Probable cause, April 16th. <laughs> Preliminary examination, April 23rd. 25th District Court in Lincoln Park. In addition, uh, you're not possessing any handguns, firearms, or other dangerous weapons. All right, any questions regarding bond and or court date, sir? No, sir. Have a good day. Thank you, officer. Are you going to put the GPS on his nub or yeah. his other leg? That's a great question. 0721601, Houston, Michigan versus 
Nicholas Bradley oh, Persola. God. Mr. Persola, state your name for the record. Nicholas Bradley Persola, Your Honor. All right, Ms. Kirkland, appearance, please. Good morning, Your Honor. Kashaba Kirkland, on behalf of Mr. Pirzala, who has been advised of his rights, wishes to stand mute and waive it for more reading. Court read a not guilty plea on behalf of your client. Argument the bond. Judge, I am requesting a personal bond in this case. He is charged with a misdemeanor. However, he has he's not currently on probation or parole um, and no pending cases. My understanding is he has no criminal record with the exception of a juvenile marijuana offense. He is 40 years old, so that would have been more than 20 years, old, 20 years ago. He is working. Um, as a line cook at Whiskey's on the Water and has been for the past two and a half years. Lifelong resident of Michigan. Um, does he have a friend place to stay? Yes, he does, Judge. Miss Lovely, thank you for the $10. Here's appreciate you. The perfect 10. Thank you so much. Um, whiskey on the Water. That sounds like a good place to eat. Sure. Well, you want me to look up the menu? Nah, okay. Not today. Officer, any recommendation is the bar? I'm still looking it up. Uh, we have no objection to a uh, personal bond, Your Honor, other than uh, an alcohol GPS tether. I believe this incident started as, as a result of alcohol, and the victim is quite fearful uh, when the defendant drinks alcohol, uh, oh, things geez. like that. Real uh, look, I get scared when people drink alcohol. also get scared when people decide to move into the coldest weather of them all. I believe this on the eclipse. It's a creed frame. <laughs> Going down smooth, just like a Creed frame. So let's talk wrestling, shall we? An incredible night last night. We would see, uh, oh, there's the food. Whew, I knew we'd get there. Okay, that food worth the Creed frame. I, it's the eclipse, man. It had nothing to do with me. <laughs> Ooh, it's the obviously the eclipse. A little, uh, little, uh, nice for my taste, but I the damn food looks good in that one for sure. I mean, are they shaking and baking and making all that stuff? That looks good, real good. Oh, oh my god, god, look at that burrito! Really good food. Well, that's part of the brunch club, there. Uh, what you talking about, Willis? Waffles, burger tab. The whiskey uh, burger, house made makers mark whiskey glaze, sauteed mushrooms, uh, caramelized onions, and something lettuce. Oh, don't forget, and lettuce. Uh, I will be doing a meet and greet at Camden Yard <laughs> in Baltimore. Ah. Saturday and Sunday. Make sure you're there for that event. Get your tickets now. Yeah. Uh, and don't get killed. <laughs> bring your, bring your uh, protection, please. Bring your own pew pew. Like those, Ooh, what are, are, what, are, pretzel are, fries? are they hard? They kind of look hard. Like they don't look very good. I they almost look for a second. I thought they're like little blueberry something or other. Like little. I I thought they're just like fried combos. Speaking of fried combos, fried uh, goat cheese, hot honey, and garlic mayo. Ooh, now I try that. Uh, I got it, the the food looks pretty damn good. I'll give them that. It really does. I could find a couple of things on this menu. Oh, yeah. There's plenty. Especially Prices pork. aren't that bad. Get like no. two or three kids meals. No, because the uh, because even the uh, I, I mean, it's a pretty fancy spot right on the water there. Well, yeah, you know, with whiskey and stuff. Take your lady. Anyways, back to uh, back court. No, 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 you're right. That was a conversation I had with the victim on the telephone. Yeah, I, I see the references. The, vic the victim off of also stated to the officers on scene that she believes her son abuses alcohol regularly. Oh, no. Um, okay. Uh, oh, is a, uh, this is an OG I call. I don't I don't believe there's an alcohol tether needed, but I will make a condition to bond no alcohol, nor uh, no drugs. Thank you, Aaron. $10,000 personal bond. Spartan. No contact with your mother. That means no phone calls, text messages, emails, handwritten as a notes to a third party through social media. Why is cases pending? No alcohol, no drugs, and no guns. Pre-trial April 18th, 27th District Court in Riverview. Ms. Carklin, do you have any objections or questions or anything I, else, ma'am? I just have one, one question, Your Honor. 
Um, so as stated, he works at Whiskey on the Water. I I guess from the name that there's probably alcohol served there. Can we probably. have an exception for him to work? <laughs> Not to drink, but to work around alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> Handmade cocktails like you see, like craft cocktails that you see on, uh, you know, like uh, the John Taffer show. Can you ask him to uh, refrain from buying them pretzel things so they look really hard? They don't look good at all. I, I don't care how much beer cheese he got to dip with them damn things. Yeah, it looks like hard nuggets. Like, he'd get it in yeah. a bag. <laughs> I got an idea, Judge. Can we just tell him to stop serving alcohol while he's working? Would that be easier? That's a good idea. I, I, yeah, I don't know, you know. Casey, you just can't use alcohol. You can't drink. Okay, thank you. He, he, he can touch it. He can serve it. Do anything else with it, but drink. You know, drink. He can't drink. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, anything? Anything else was purple? Right. No, Your Honor. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Riverview. Is Steve thank Vincent you, okay? Thank you. All right, Mr. Vincent. Hey. How are you? hey, Judge. How are you doing? It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Judge, I just got to let you know, I got nothing better to do today than argue bonds and keep the city safe. So we got all afternoon. Oh, geez. No, we don't have all afternoon. You may have all afternoon, but I don't. Oh, oh. Don't get it twisted. Don't oh. get it twisted, Mr. Vincent. Oh, okay. I thought we had all afternoon to argue bonds. No, no, no. We, we don't have all afternoon. We have a cut because we got people waiting on us. Okay. All right. Well. If you just hear me out. All right. Bonds, so and and judge, and judge, excuse me, just for the record, we um don't have just for the record. I don't think that Steve Vincent's very funny at all, and I hate the way he looks, Your Honor. He's good though. I, I he he gets in there, he'll he'll lay it to some of these criminals. He'll really like wham them. I like them. I I like you know making that joke, but almost sometimes the way that the judge comes off is almost like you just pissed him off for a second. But no, no, wait, he's joking. But then it's like it's it's a little awkward. With it. Glad you got time. I got people waiting for me at whiskey on the water. That's, That's right. right. I'm gonna be out there tonight doing personal appearances from my boat. By the way, stop by and get a free sticker. And uh, even though it says buy one get one free at Fast Freddy's. They yeah. are no longer accepting yeah. those. But you can take it to whiskey on the water. <laughs> By the way, did you see the you remember the registration blanks on the back to fill out all your information? It, yeah, so you just throw them away. Oh, how how did you get my my number? Why are you texting me? <laughs> all day either but our job is we're here all day if, we, if needed to protect the innocent so thank you very Correct. much oh, right. we, all, we all have we all have a job just here to protect the city that's wow, all. She all came right. in hot. over and out we'll see all you right. later Devlin Heights. we're ready you're right uh let's do christopher noah williams sir state your name for the record uh christopher williams all right, he sings in a metal band, right? Seven zero seven two one four. People said Michigan versus Christian Nor Christopher Nor Williams charged with count one. This also assaulted with his instructing. Ms. Kirkland. Good morning, Your Honor. Kashava Kirkland, on behalf of Mr. Williams, who has been advised of his rights, wishes to stand mute and wait before my reading. Court will deny guilty plea on behalf of your client, Ms. Kirkland. It doesn't look like he's got any assaultive history. I assume you're requesting a personal bond. Can you articulate? His ties, community, work, so on and so forth. Yes, Your Honor. He is a lifelong resident of Michigan. He is not currently working because he, because he is on disability. And that's correct, Your Honor. My understanding is that um, he doesn't have a criminal record other than a juvenile conviction, not currently on probation or parole, 31 years of age. Hey, Mr. Williams, probable cause April 17th, preliminary examination April 24th. 20th District Court in Dearborn Heights. Any questions regarding bond and or court dates? Can, can, I, can I add something, Your Honor? Sure. Um, I'm, I'm just requesting that he doesn't return to the uh, Heights Motel. Okay, that's no. 62. No problem. No problem. No problem. Is that 60, hold on. Is that 6560 North Telegraph? Uh, 62. Is, is it 6560? I thought it was 6260. 6560. 6560. No contact. With 6560 North Telegraph Road. Anything else, officer? Uh, no, Your Honor. I'm good. Okay. 
All right. Any questions, Mr. Williams? Uh, no, no. Okay, uh, have a good day, Mr. Oh, Taylor. Yeah, yeah, I got one question. Yeah, I got one question. Talk to me uh, quick. For the five thousand dollar bond, how long do I have to wait? Because I don't have anybody to bring money. No, it's personal. You don't have to pay. Uh, let me ask you a question. You don't have any time to wait. Have a good day. Skullet. Johan Say Taylor. All right. This is case number 822-4707-7701. People said the Michigan versus Johans Taylor. Uh is charged with two counts of police officer assault and resisting. Habitual third offense notice. Um I'm inclined to give a personal bond in this matter. Uh, given the nature of the offense, uh, it doesn't seem to be a flight risk. Officers, anything you want to add on this? I will check that out. Uh, no, Your Honor. I, um, I checked. He has no outstanding wants. Uh, I don't believe he has a history. Um, I do have a local warrant that was just issued on Friday for him, but we're going to discuss that. It's a whole, whole separate issue. I'm going to give him an opportunity to turn himself in this week for arraignment. Okay. All right. I understand that the uh, underlying domestic violence charge that was not one of the prosecuted by the complaining witness. So he's free to return to the West Point address, I take it? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Ms. Kirkland, your appearance and argument? Um, good. Uh, good morning, Your Honor. Kashava Kirkland on behalf of Mr. Taylor. Judge, we would request a personal bond as well. Lifelong resident, two children, working, uh, stable employment. Ms. Kirkland, personal bond. Probable cause, April 17th, preliminary examination, April 24th. Uh, sorry to interrupt you, but it's for good cause. Uh, <laughs> uh, no need for a GPS tether in this matter. I you got some ass lined up or something. I don't know what's going on. No, Close shit. Number on that bond, and can you repeat the court date? $5,000 personal bond, probable cause, April 17th. Listen, he heard uh, lifelong resident, you know, and he's like, oh, all right. Good enough. Have fun. Good luck, Griggs. Everything closes down in about an hour. Hurry up. Get there for a day. Sell out. Judge is definitely keeping it moving. 15th, preliminary examination, April 24th. And like I said, I apologize for cutting you off, but I was going to give you what you wanted to anyway, Ms. Kirkland. Thank you. All right. Nothing else from uh, Dearborn Heights? Uh, no, Your Honor. We're all set. Thank you. Okay. Have a good day. All right. Sure. We're just, I'm waiting on uh, DDC. Uh, it is now, we'll start, I'll log back on in about 15 minutes. The court's going to take Woo! a brief 15-minute recess. Watch how fast this Thank recess you. is. Okay. God, I hope the guys in Tread left the whole 15 minutes in. Me too. We can sit here and talk about uh, Chase coming up, 405. He should be done with everything, right, by then? I, I don't I don't think that you, I mean, they close it. They, I, I understand you guys are going to go stare at it for two hours. That's cool. Um, but I think it's going to be over by 4.05, right? I mean, it, the what we want to see is a 3.15 east. I think we'll be fine. Allegedly. Allegedly. Hopefully, because at, at 3 p.m. Eastern time, Terrible. perfect timing, perfect timing for it, uh, there'll be a uh, a premiere with, with five Judge people. DeSanto. Maybe 10 people because it's DeSanto. You're going to be redirected after this to it uh and <laughs> hold on let me make sure there's no no big mouths in here let me look oh cat okay. it's new no one else has seen it yet oh god don't, shh, don't tell nobody starting controversy is that why you're burying it during a gigantic shh, shh, national shh, uh, event got it you can't change your full name from joe eric Quayera. <laughs> eric who <laughs> eric Quayera. Case number 2405659401, people say Michigan versus Eric Kayara. Kayara, my apologies. Appearances, please. Judge, always a pleasure. Steve Vincent for the people, piece 71917. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Kashaba Kirkland on behalf of Mr. Kayara, who has been advised of his rights, which is to stand mute, way before my reading. Court runner, not guilty plea on behalf of your client. Argument as the bond. Respectfully, Judge, we're going to be asking for a 10,000 cash tether as well as some type of uh, monitorization, curfew possibly, Judge. Um, this is charged as a GBH, an R&O, a DV. Uh, the defendant does have a prior. It just happened recently in 22. 
I have a weapons firearm in proper possession, ended up getting a year of probation. Then we have this uh, alleged incident, Judge, and the way that I ended up writing it down was an argument ended up leading to an assault where allegedly this defendant was dragging an individual into an alleyway, uh, punched the individual multiple times, slammed her into the ground. Yes, uh, I'm, I'm well aware of the facts, but go ahead. Yeah, and then we have the, the sodomy as well as the biting judge. So oh, God. we do feel as though there's a high likelihood of conviction here. We do feel as though there's a flight risk as well, seeing as though the Yikes. defendant didn't stick around. Um, so therefore, judge, just based on the assaultive nature of it, let alone some of the flight issues we have, respectfully, we're going to be asking for that 10,000 with monitorization. Ms. Kirkland? That's it? Yes, Your Honor. That sounds like $10 million to me. I mean, um, just this is so terrible. I am going to be asking for a personal bond in this case, if not a personal uh, 10%, but I am asking for a personal bond in this case, Judge. Um, to begin, um, Mr. Coyara is a lifelong resident, um, not currently on probation or parole. Only thing on his record is a 2022 misdemeanor improper possession of a firearm. Does fall within the 200% guidelines um, and at this point cannot afford um, any amount of bond, Judge. So, if it, let me, let, let, okay, Ms. Kirk, let me, ask, let me ask you some questions. First of all, they don't live together. Is that correct? No, Your Honor. They do not. He has a, he has a torture place to stay. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Mr. Vincent, Wait, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Judge. They do not live together. So um, we, we did not ask him if he had an alternative. Bill, today we celebrate. We celebrate hard. I, we know you have that. Don't worry. Bastards. <laughs> place to stay because he, she, they do not live together. Okay, that's what I asked. That's what to confirm that. Yes, they do not live together. Okay, Mr. Vincent, outside of the conviction just noted, are there any other uh, domestic violence or related allegations that you're aware of? Um, no, I didn't. I didn't see anything, okay. Judge. I guess what we're relying on is the okay. fact that the police actually gotcha. observed this as well. Gotcha. I got gotcha. you. Nobody Ms. talk. Kirkland. Let the judge talk. Yes or is no? Is your client working? Yes, Your Honor. Um, he's starting a roofing job on Monday. No. <laughs> <laughs> of course mean? he is Mr. Coyara What's the name of the roofing company he, He's going to be starting Roof, uh, us, What is Roof, the name of the roofing us. company This is my phone um, I got it in my cell phone um, I start exactly tomorrow That's the reason why uh, that This girl trying to give me so much trouble no, 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 Give him a second I need clarification Starting a roofing job tomorrow Does that mean okay. are you on your own roofing company And you're doing you have a job coming tomorrow, or, or just listen to the question, Lori. But not do you that own your own roofing company and you have a Lori. job to start Different tomorrow, Lori. or are you working for somebody and your first day of work is tomorrow? My first day of work is tomorrow. Okay. I and there's even more. There's a, all right. The way that she said it, give her credit. The way she said it sounded like he's already got a job. He's just he's got a new. They've got a new project to start. They're on to a new job. No, no, no. Starting a brand new job. Supporting He's got a Mike. job, Your Honor. He starts Monday at a roofing company and that he doesn't even know the name of. Yeah. Uh, roofing LLC. Yes. It's in my phone. <laughs> Eclipse Roofing would have been perfect for today. Yeah. <laughs> They're out of sale. <laughs> those, of you, those of you who may not watch a lot of court, this is something that is uh, I, the reason why we laugh. We're not laughing about him being a roofer. We're laughing about the fact that we hear this all the time, that today the day after whatever they're in court or doing anything is always starting a new job. And we used to hear it all the time. The paper mill, the paper mill is a big one. We always used to hear and starting a new job tomorrow or it's starting Monday. One of the two. It's exactly. always one of those. Always. Can you on, Ms. Thank you, judge. Regarding the allegations, the officers state yes. that when they arrived, <laughs> they saw him grabbing her and that they saw blood <laughs> above his right eye judge. And those two facts taken um, together can can can. That's his badge of honor, right? You take a little bit of blood and you just kind of just wipe it. Right yeah, yeah. You know, it's like hey, hey, exactly one of those uh, one of those things. Here now, thank you. A, a lot of things. It sounds like Mr. Guiara was assaulted at some point during this. He does um, say that the the allegations in here are untrue. Um, and as if the court consider those, I know there were witnesses, and none of the witnesses. We're Ms. Kirkland, Ms. Kirkland, slow down. I got it. <laughs> I got you, but slow down. 
Thank you. Okay, none go of, ahead. None of the witnesses provided statements corroborating the complainant's story. What the officer saw was him grabbing her and with him with blood on his, on his face, which sounds like he was getting her off. Um, I'd ask that the court give him a personal bond. Uh, he has no criminal, no assaultive criminal record, just one misdemeanor. Um, okay, Ms. Kirkland, you persuaded me. You persuaded the court. $10,000 10, on a personal bond, no contact with uh, Tashonda Turner. No guns. Um, given a lack of uh, criminal history as to domestic violence, I'm going to give you the benefit of doubt, sir. Plus, you're starting a new job tomorrow, so I don't see a need for a tether. Don't make me regret that decision. So, in other words, okay. kind of getting a uh, contact means just that. No phone calls, text messages, letters. Everybody behind was like, know. "Hey, just say you're starting a new job Monday." Yeah, everybody. Yeah, that's what the up people was. Okay, Everybody's like, let me oh, make it an important question for you. The importance of this: if you violate any conditions of the bond, you may lose your job and go back to jail. Is that clear? Sir, I'm taking a chance on you. Any questions? Yeah, but she's trying to hurry because he's trying to hurry. That's what I think. And she yeah, and she, like, he tells her to slow down, but yet he's yeah. hurrying along as quick as he can. Where's that lady at that was kind of like a stick in the mic? Can we bring her back in here to say something about this? There's some asshole who used to do the, the old show, and even if you be in the middle of something great, it's just constant. Uh, people just want you to wrap it up. Always wrap it up. Don't, don't get her pregnant. No, sir. Probable no, cause, April 16th, preliminary examination, April 23rd, both in front of Judge Jefferson. Have a good day, sir. Meyer. Thank you, Your Honor. Judge George yeah. Jefferson. <laughs> What's so funny? What's they laughing yep. about? Stay behind the black line there. State your full name for the judge. Stephon <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> Stephon Lamar Slater. <laughs> the fabulous Thunderbirds, was it? Yeah. yeah. Miss Lisa, I don't have Slater. He's on the screen. Slater. Yes. Slater, didn't he die? No, 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 no. Okay, what's he charged with? Um, according to our uh, input sheet, Your Honor, we have a misdemeanor warrant for uh, weapons possession. Black like his soul, Ton. Judge, I can shed a little bit of light on this. This is a They're case, green. case that was pled to, down to the misdemeanor, and we did get permission from Judge Robbins for a personal. I understand that, but I, ha I, I don't have the file. Oh, that's yeah, right. Um, I'll give a little bit more perspective. The Capius occurred um, March 3rd of 2022. Okay, got, got, four days before Mikey's uh, birthday. Uh, was it, didn't Screech do some porn or something right before that? Or am I just. Yeah, I, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. But they say he used a stunt wang. Really? Yeah. Huh. By the way, I, I used to watch Saved by the Bell all the time when I was. Is it me or does Vincent here sound like he sounds like Dan Aykroyd when he played uh Lieutenant Friday in Dragnet, the movie? So he's basically just playing a character, you think? <laughs> sounds just like him, I'm telling you. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. What was the campus bond? It was 2000 a cash and surety, and defense counsel can let you know what Judge Robbins converted it to. Okay, go ahead, Ms. Uh, Kirkland. Judge Robbins converted that to a 2000 personal. All right, 2000 personal bond. No guns. Probable cause, April 17th. From the examination, April 24th. April 17th in front of Judge Robbins. Educational channel. Thank you for your, thank you for your help. Good stuff, good stuff. Any questions? Good. I believe this was something that was already led to. Yeah. Maybe just a review. Just a basic okay. review day. Okay. Okay. All right. Have a good day, Mr. Slater. Y'all sit on the list. Afternoon, Rick. Rick. Stand by the black line there, boss. State your full name for the judge. Boss. Eric Chandler. 
Oh no! Wait, wasn't it Jesse that did a bunch of uh, stuff? Did she uh, movie right with boobs out? Mistaken. Is that the woman that was in yeah, yeah. Girls? Yes. Uh, case number two four zero five six five zero one. New to DNA. Appreciate it, Eric Chandler. Appearances, please. Thank you, Judge Steve Vincent, for the people. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Shava Kirkland. Uh, two brown eyes, if I'm not mistaken, right, Mystic Lady. Half of Mr. Chandler. What everybody said about the bed. Wait, the formal reading. Court of not guilty plea on behalf of your client. Due to the nature of the offense, not from the history, last community, and just their personal bond. Not from the people, Judge. No objection, Your Honor. Thank you. Five thousand on a personal bond. All right. When he just said that, now that you've said that about Dan Aykroyd, the way he just said, not for the people, Judge. Uh -huh. You're absolutely right. I can, I can, a hundred percent now hear that when he just said that. I mean, it's dead on. It really is. A personal bond, probable cause, April 17th, for the just Kevin Roberts, preliminary, preliminary examination, April 24th, for the judge to be determined. Have a good day, sir. Well said, boss. Well, Hedberg. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, don't worry, you're running black line, boss. Go ahead, stage full name for the judge. All day. All day. Call in case number 240-565-9801. People said Mickin versus Blaylen Banks. Appearances, please. Steve Vincent for the people. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Chris Kirkland on behalf of Mr. Banks, who has been advised of his rights, which is to stand mute and wave the formal reading. Court or not guilty plea on behalf of Mr. Banks as well, given the nature of the offense. Yes. Lack of criminal history. Yeah, class, so any okay. just a personal bond? No, sir. No, Your Honor. Thank you. Five thousand on a personal bond. Probable cause. April 17th in front of Judge Kevin Robbins, preliminary examination. April 24th in front of Judge to be determined. Have a good day, sir. Damn, we're just pushing them in and out, man. Boom, 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 boom. I would seriously love to yeah, know what the judge has going on today. Yeah. Well, if I have to tell you, Creed, he is going to his son's bar mitzvah, and they timed it. Just perfectly timed. Like this screen frame. From the makers of Mikey Timeouts come Creed Frame. I don't like it. It's gonna happen. You just have to accept it. Yeah, I don't want that. Oh well. I was laughing, uh thinking about boy it's not i did this yesterday while at the flea market looking up at the sky i go man there's not a cloud in the sky and i look left and it's just cloudy as can be. <laughs> i got the thing so remember tim used to do that all the back when back when it was fun watching the tim tracker i uh, used to say funny shit like that not a cloud in the sky and they just move like just an inch and be nothing but clouds anyways a hobo <laughs> here i'm going to try to discontinue use of firefox for a day and see if that helps because I just pulled up, did you get to see, I, I had pulled up uh, Brian Christopher slots because he looks a little bit like him, but I was going to make a gay joke. But I just went like that. That's what you get. <laughs> Somebody hit the button. Case number two four zero five six five nine nine. But it creed framed twice while looking up something on Firefox. Though. There it is. One previous Michigan versus Edward William Fry. Appearances, please. Thank you, Judge. Steve Benson for the people. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Kashava Kirkland on behalf of Mr. Fry, who has been advised of his rights, wishes to stand mute and wait the formal reading. Court, I'm not good to play on behalf of Mr. Fry. Argument is the bond. Looks like the biggest danger here would be this defendant to himself, Judge. He also has apparently an ongoing case over in Macomb. Uh, <laughs> ended up finding crack and needles. So, oh. I'm Judge, it's serious but non assaultive. Not going to be objecting to a person. Crack and needles. No objection to a personal, Your Honor. $10,000 personal bond. Well, this case is pending, sir. No <laughs> drugs. Okay. Probable cause April 17th, preliminary examination April 24th. What's in front of Judge Giles? Have a good day. I did get a prisoner. Yeah, also, I did get a prisoner. Right? Yes. Wow. <laughs> That's down over here for me, sir. Search full name for the judge. Uh, Delon Allen Taylor. What? Dime Dime Taylor. Delon Allen Taylor. 
Devon Allen Taylor. People City, Michigan versus Devon Allen Taylor. Pearson, please. Thank you, Judge Stevenson, for the people. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Kashava Kirkland on behalf of Mr. Taylor, who has been advised of his rights, which is to stand mute and wait before my reading. Court of Night, good afternoon, After Mr. Taylor, argument as the bottom. Uh, Judge, the way I see it, the, only, the amount of drugs he had was just enough to harm himself, non assaultive, not going to be objecting to a personal. People like this are a menace to decent society. No drugs while this case is pending, sir. Court dates. We're on a mission calls, from April 16th, God. Preliminary examination, April 23rd. Have a good day. It's humid out there. <laughs> that nuclear well, waste really, really holds the moisture, doesn't it? $5,000 personal bond. Thank you very much, sir. Appreciate it. Appreciate you. Come on, step in, boss man. Yep, right behind the black line there. Stand, yep. stand right there. State your full name. <laughs> uh, Don Reynolds. Don Reynolds. Hey, Don. What's going on, Don? Two four zero five six five nine seven zero one. Who said Michigan versus Don Reynolds? Appearances, please. Thanks, Judge Stevenson, for the people. P seven one nine one seven. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Kashava Kirkland on behalf of Mr. Reynolds, who has been advised of his rights, which is in the way for more reading. Court of not guilty plea on behalf of your client. Argument is the bond, Mr. Vincent. Respectfully, Judge, we're going to be asking for a $20,000 cash assurity. We're also going to be asking for a tether, as well as a curfew. <laughs> um, Judge, what I didn't see on the complaint here um, was a hab, even though he should have a hab. Jane, you ignorant slut. Judge. Um, I found that he had previous armed robbery conviction, assault with- Yeah, I know. I, when I did the swear to, I noticed that as well. Um, and as duly oh. noted, that he wasn't charged with a, with a, half, with a habitual form, but I wanted a probable cause here. Mary Lou, happy almost birthday. Right? As well. I'm sorry. Uh, go ahead, Mr. Go yeah. ahead, Mr. Uh, Vincent. Yeah, yes, I appreciate that, Judge. Can you that pause that real quick? <laughs> just, just so we're all on the same page. Yes. And we need to be. Because oh, 0.20, 0.22, 0.24, 0.26, 0.50, 0.70, 0.80. It specifies specifies clean shirt, short hair, tie, pressed trousers, sports jacket or suit, and leather shoes, preferably with a high shine on them. Yeah, that's all I wanted to say. <laughs> Not up. So we have we have we should have a hab four here. He also had a maintaining a drug house in ten that probably wouldn't have been on the hab. That was a misdemeanor. Judge. I mean, we have we have all the components here. By the way, Geo, twenty-two months a member. Congrats, man! That's awesome. That's, Appreciate that, you. Yeah, that's uh, deserves an OG. This is an OG. And being a danger, uh, to the very least, the complainant. We have punches thrown, threats to kill, <laughs> blowing her head off, something like that. We have guns. Yes, have I, I, I get that, and then it indicated the, that the um, the threats, the point of the gun, um, all the things that point. That uh, to your to your argument, which I, if I understand it correctly, he poses a danger to the complaining witness in a significant manner. Is that correct, sir? I, I think so, Judge. And then the fleeing component, as well as being found underneath a bed in one of his yes. relatives' basements. Yes, sir. That's, that's Look, we're being attacked okay. by hostile you pipe welders. Cash bond, you just tell him. Cash assurity, twenty thousand tether curfew. Okay, Miss Kirkland. Judge, in this um, case, I am asking for a personal bond for the assault, most assaultive um, charge. He, he's facing four years. Um, so I'm asking for a personal for a few reasons. I'll start with the simple. He is a lifelong resident, has five children, is working. He's self-employed, has a lawn service company, does fall within the 200 percent guidelines. And at this point, there's no amount of bond he can afford to pay. Unfortunately, I don't have the, the benefit of having access to lien. So um, I do know that the armed robbery that was mentioned. Don't worry about the armed robbery. I want, I want <laughs> you to focus in on, does he have an alternative place to stay? Does he? Yes, Your Honor. He does have an alternative residence to stay at. Um, I know Your Honor does not Preacher. allow one-time police escorts, but he is requesting an escort to gather his belongings. For the record, from the investigator's report, I wanted to note that there were no injuries noted on the complainant, no medics. Correct. <laughs> Correct. That's, that's noted. Um, is he self-employed? Yes, Ron, he's self-employed. Anthony right there. All right. He's, he's out in the hallway asking. You said he has an alternative place to stay? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, continue with your argument, Ms. Kirkland. Thank you. Um, in addition to there being no injuries and no medics, I know there was 
uh, the, the complainant is alleged to have Mr. Reynolds left the residence and went to his uncle's home. And it's alleged that the complainant followed him down the street to his uncle's home. Um, additionally, Your Honor, there, there was a mention, I know, that was, you know, that he's charged with quite a bit of weapons charges because the complainant states that, well, first states that he just put Same. the weapon in, into a bag, but then it's later stated he pointed it at her, that she followed him and watched him throw it and was able to tell officers exactly where he where he tossed the gun. However, after searching, officers never recovered that gun. There was nothing to corroborate that a firearm was ever used. Um, what we see. You get hallelujahs for 32 months of memory. That's yeah, the OG eclipse status. OG eclipse status. <laughs> Here's Mr. Reynolds getting trying to get away from the complainant. Um, the complainant following Mr. Reynolds. The complainant does not have injuries. Does not receive um does not receive attention from medics. Um, and no firearm ever found. So, Your Honor, we are asking for a personal gun in this case. Judge, can I respond? No, I've heard enough. <laughs> Damn, Judge. I appreciate both arguments. Um, and to to both your credits, Mr. Vincent, I was I was on the fence with a cash bond. I'm I got, I'm sorry, Mr. Vincent. Um, Only one that's not the eclipse. Mine. Any other aside from our robbery, what, what any other assault of convictions? For the uh, flat earthers, anti eclipsers. Uh, right. If you're anti eclipse, yeah. Yeah. You're ready. Got good for you. As an assault with intent to rob while armed, too. We got that good, good coming up for you. I and mean, what, when, years, what, what year is that from? Yeah, that, that was with the armed robbery. There were two convictions. He just asked me if there were any other convictions. But I mean, when we're talking about this type of behavior and pointing guns and threatening to kill. Mr. Vincent, when, Mr. Vincent, Mr. Vincent, I got I got the argument the first time. I, I, you don't have to repeat it. I got it. Uh, I'm just on the fence about certain things. So just give me a moment. I can't believe the judge is burning through these like this. He doesn't even want to hear. Mr. Shit. How long have they been married? Um, Mr. Reynolds, how long have you two been married? Eight years. Let's kick some ass. <laughs> Vincent, now's not the time, dude. He's fired up, bud. And who's the gun registered to? Do you know that, Mr. Vincent? No, I, I, I don't know that at all. I know it can't be registered to him because he's a convicted felon. Judge, I don't think a gun was ever recovered. So I don't, I don't think they... Right, I know that, but I'm just saying there was... Um, okay. You know what, Mr. Reynolds? I'm, I'm, I'm uh, on the fence. And so because of that, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt since I'm on the fence. Gonna Vincent ain't taking the L's today. Nothing but yeah. L's. No yeah. guns. You can't possess any handguns. No contact with Ashley Crump. No contact means just that. No phone calls, text messages, emails, handwritten letters or notes, and social media to a third party. You're going to have to get somebody else to go to the house to get your belongings. You can have no contact with the Westphalia address. GPS tether, uh, 9 p.m. to 6 a.m. curfew. Probable cause, April 16th. Preliminary examination, April 23rd. Both in front of Judge Jefferson. Any questions regarding your bond and or court dates? Yes, sir. <laughs> um, a uh, great this court date. And, trading uh, places. Yes, tether. Go. Well, they'll let you know about the tether. The next court date, April 16th. Probable cause, April 23rd. Preliminary examination, both in front of Judge Jefferson. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. I I nailed that Ghostbusters one right as uh, the uh, the phone was ringing. I don't know if you noticed. Or not. Uh, uh, you know, it was uh, it was amazing. What else is uh, amazing, Creed? This is a, a once in a lifetime thing that's happening today at three p.m. Eastern. <laughs> the premiere <laughs> from us right there on Creed and Mikey of uh, Judge DeSanto. I figured I, I find you it. unacceptable. I figured cone hits. I figured we'd be able to slide this in under the fence for all of you that, you know, just aren't buying into the complete fake story of an eclipse happening. I think <laughs> we're all going to be, I think there's a spaceship come down and steal all y'all that walk outside. Uh -oh. Just saying. We're going to let you go. Oh, we're off our shit. diet. 
Uh, more, <laughs> more with Stephen, Steve Vincent, please. I, I, <laughs> I could, after you said it, yeah, I couldn't unhear it then at that point, the hangover express, uh, welcome bill back bill, bill. Thank you. Hi. Uh, Chrissy, of course, an old gifter around here, Gary, uh, Chrissy again. Reason why he's a known gifter. Miss Lovely, thank you. Sweet tea, Kiernoff, sweet tea, the gift. Guys are the best. Uh, for real, enjoy the uh, the eclipse thing, and we'll be back uh, 405 East for uh, We Got a Chase today. If, if we're not all sucked up into the uh, airship that uh, Mike told us about. Uh, not me, I'll be inside watching that premiere at 6 p.m. Eastern time. That's about one hour from now. Be That's right. You're going to be not, redirected there. Three here just, not six. To see. Mike just said six. Did I say six? Yeah, you're talking like me. You drunk? You all right? Hi, Eileen. I mean, uh, I mean, you can really have drinks any time of the day, right? That's right. Day drinking's the best. Why not? It's a little sippy poo. You don't have a basement, Courtney. You live in Florida. All right. Let's try this again. In one hour, come back. Because <laughs> it's going to be happy hour. Isn't happy hour anytime? That's right. Happy hour is anytime. Thank you. Stay safe. Stay hard. Stay tuned. Stay out of the solar eclipse and arm yourselves, people. The aliens are coming from behind the moon. Allegedly. Look, we're being attacked by hostile pipe welders. Jane, you ignorant slut. Play the one where those men want to have sex with me. You're spending the night with Fred Jarvan, male prostitute. Those men wanted to have sex 